What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you like that sleigh tro. Well, today I decided to do the wet, glossy eye look for you. It's not hard. It looks more complicated or, I don't know, high-end, supermodel fashion-y than it actually is. Um, like I say at the end of this video, it's probably not the most practical but it'll slay an Instagram picture. So if you're in the business of slaying Instagram pictures, you should try the wet glossy look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you saw it on my Snapchat. I did it yesterday. I did it last night to give it a little whirl and then I was like, I'm gonna make a video. So this is me making a video. So it's super easy, a baby could do it. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. I have already prepped and primed my eyes and done my eyebrows as you can see. I am going to go in with a transition shade from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I am going into this neutral brown. We'll just call it brown. And I'm using a Morphe E30 brush and I'm just gonna run that right into the crease just to get a good transition shade. Wow, what a difference eyebrows make. I typically do my eyebrows after, but I really should start doing them before. Really blending that in, pulling it towards the nose. Feathering it out a little bit on the ends. All right, check. That step was easy. Next, this is gonna be like the easiest editorial look you've ever done. Next, I'm gonna go into this burnt orange yellow color and I'm going in with a flat Morphe brush. I don't know the name of it because this is a travel size. It's just a flat packer brush. And I'm just gonna pat that onto my eyelid. I'm gonna do a couple coats of this. It builds nicely. It really does. You guys, does everybody have their Halloween costume? I have mine. I don't know if you saw my stupid wig video on my Instagram, but you should watch it because it's kind of funny. All right, now that is packed onto the lid, we're gonna move on to the face really quickly and we'll come back, we'll double back to the eyes. So I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Long Wear Illuminizing Foundation. Now that is a mouthful. And I am going to squirt this on the top of this compact so that I can put it on my face. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Morphe E8 brush and I'm just gonna dab that onto my face a little bit. Not really blending it in, just kind of spreading it around. This concealer, I mean this uh, foundation is thick. This is a big booty Judy foundation. Ah, dang it, I didn't get my beauty blender, hold on. All right, I'm just gonna blend that into the skin using a damp beauty blender. Try not to blend off my eyebrows. The only thing about this foundation is it has a really weird smell. I feel like it smells like baby powder, which is not really what I want my face to smell like, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna add a little bit more for my chin area. I'm having major breakouts, like I'm 15, I'm not sure why. Um, so I'm gonna cover those up. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a little tart shape tape and I'm in the color Fair. And I'm just gonna put a couple dots underneath my eye because this stuff goes a long way. I'm gonna put it right down the center of my nose, a little bit on my forehead and a little bit on my chin. And I'm just gonna blend that out using that wet beauty blender. It's actually damp.
All right. I'm gonna set that under eye just a teensy tiny bit using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and a Morphe M38 brush. No, M438. Just so that that under eye concealer doesn't really move because we're about to add some eyeshadow under there. If you have a breakout, try not to put too much powder on it because it's gonna make it look really gross. So, I do know what I'm gonna be for Halloween, back to that, but I'm not telling anyone because I don't want anybody to steal it. Even though it, I am stealing it from someone. Actually, I'm not, I'm inspired by somebody. I'm not stealing it, I'm inspired. There's a difference. All right, from here I'm going to contour my face using the Makeup Geek Contour Powder from my Life Palette in the color Cool Porcelain. And I'm using a Morphe angled brush and I'm just hitting that right into the hollows of my cheeks and my forehead. I'm gonna run it on my jawline so I can look more editorial. And then I am gonna do a tiny bit of blush. I'm gonna go into this like, it's the Morphe N9 palette and I'm gonna go into this darker, mauvier color. Whoa. I'm just going to dust that lightly on my cheeks just to get a little bit of color but still not keeping it too rosy. Although it does look kind of rosy on camera. <laughs> That's okay. Just take my beauty blender and pounce that over those cheeks a little bit. I don't want it to look too rosy. Alright, that's better. That's better. All right, I'm gonna go back to my eyes. I'm gonna go under my eyes with that same um, orange toned yellow color and I'm just gonna use an angle brush. This is from, what is this from? Eco Tools, yeah. Eco Tools and I'm just gonna run that right under my eye just to kind of bring the color from the top down a little bit. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Perfect. And then from there, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Sephora um, Nude Eyeliner. It is their waterproof crayon. This is in the colored Wide Eye. And I'm just going to run that And I'm just running that right on my waterline to just kind of brighten it up a little bit. You know, whenever you see magazines, these these models look wide-eyed and awake and doughy-eyed like a little deer. And then from there, oh, I got something in my eye. From there, I'm going to go in with a little Tarte's Camera Lashes. And I'm really going to coat those lashes because I'm not going to wear any falsies because... Uh, I feel like they don't wear falsies and I don't know. I feel like this look is more about the mask, the glossy lid than the matte, than the eyelashes. So I'm not going to wear falsies. And yes, I am doing it before I do my gloss because I don't want any mascara to get on the gloss and then it's going to be like a goopy little mess. So I'm going to let my mascara dry and then I'll do the gloss. All right. And while we let that dry, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of highlight on my cheeks. I'm going to use a little champagne pop today, and this is in the color Flexitarian. This is the Super Shock Highlight, and I'm just going to use my finger, and I have no shame today. I am putting that all over my face because we're going to be in a magazine, people. <laughs> Perfect. And on top of that, because I can, I'm going to go in with Jeffree Star Eclipse, the Manny MUA collection, and I'm just going to run that on top just to, you know, because I can. Because I can! From here, I'm going to go in with my lips, and then we're going to hit those eyes with the gloss. I'm going in with the Jeffree Star lipstick. These are the little mini nudes. <laughs> They're so cute. And I'm going in with Gemini. And I am just going to coat those lips.
Alrighty then. I've never had Jeffree Star lipstick until I bought these little nudes. They are the best formula, but the weirdest smell. I'm not gonna lie. If it didn't have the smell, like it definitely smells like root beer and I just, it's not for me, but super awesome formula. So from here, it's now time for the star of the show. So the star of the show is the Glossy Eyelids and I'm going in with the Moisture Lock Coconut Oil Infused Lip Treatment from Milani. And the reason I'm using this, it's just a clear gloss but it has this really nice like paddle applicator. Um, I have put it on my lips but it's so easy for eyeshadow. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the clear gloss and I'm just gonna run it directly on that eyelid. So this gloss is thick. It is thick. I'm not, I'm gonna try and keep, I'm not gonna try and wipe it too much. I'm just gonna kinda try and dab on that gloss just up into the crease because when you blink it is going to transfer. So yeah. So try not to actually wipe your eyelid because it's going to wipe off your eyeshadow. So just dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. All right. So that, my friends, is how we get the editorial glossy lid look. Um, is this super practical? Probably not. Is it super cool for pictures? Definitely. So I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. I hope you... It's just tis the season, so either use it for Halloween, use it to take an Instagram picture, whatever you decide to do, I hope you enjoy this look. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.